Hamilton Bulldogs are excited and proud to select as their first ever pick and their first round selection, Matthew Strom from the Toronto Marlboro. Daybreak in the Steel City. For many, it's just another early April day. But for 16 young hockey players, today is the result of years of preparation. Inside the first Ontario Centre, the Hamilton Bulldogs scouting staff has converged for the 2016 OHL priority selection. All winter, they hunted for top talent in rinks across the province, and it comes down to today. Last year's top pick, Matt Strom, has the honours. The Hamilton Bulldogs. The Hamilton Bulldogs are pleased to select as their first round selection, Connor Roberts from the Grey Bruce Highlanders. Well done, Stromer. <laughs> that was a lot different than last year with being at home and just waiting for your name to be called, but being here and making that pick, it felt good. Yeah, it was great to have Matt Strom in to, to announce our first pick. It's, it's part of what we want to build as the culture in here and that, uh, you know, that's that was our first pick last year. He got to announce Connor Roberts this year. He's now, Connor gets brought into the team by the first pick from last year. Roberts is a big, strong forward from Owen Sound. The tail of the tape is impressive. Six foot three, 204 pounds. He had 39 points with the Grey Bruce Highlanders and also represented Canada at the World Youth Olympics, winning a silver medal. A prototypical forward that has everyone excited. He is the kind of player that you you want to get, get in your organization. He's, he's a big load of a player. He can skate real fast, and he's, uh, he's a quality kid. Yeah, he's, he's exactly that. I think, uh, you know, he brings a, a character and leadership um, element to him, even though he's a young man. He can, you can tell how he's going to grow into that type of role, but, uh, you know, he's an all-around player. He really is a, a prototypical power type of player. He's, He's fast for his size at this age. He's got a, uh, a really good hard shot already, um, and I'm excited with the, with a raw with the raw potential of this player. I'm really excited how he, uh, he develops in our league and with our team. Back in the room, the draft is just getting started, and the dogs are on the clock again. Let's go, guys. The, the who's the top forward on that list there? Biggest. I've asked every junior kid that I trained last week what their criticism of our team was, and what it was like to play against us. The number one comment I heard from everybody is that we're easy to play against. Second round in the 2016 Ontario Hockey League priority selection, the Hamilton Bulldogs. With our second selection in the 2016 priority selection, the Hamilton Bulldogs are proud to select DJ King from the Mississauga Rebels. King is another big player. The defenseman stands six foot three, two 213 pounds, and comes from an NHL home. His father, Derek, played over 800 games with the Islanders, Whalers, Leafs, and Blues. Even though his father was born here in Hamilton, DJ was born in Arizona and is committed to the U.S. development program for the 2016-17 season. Meanwhile, the team's first round selection arrives at the first Ontario Centre. Connor Roberts is greeted by team staff, shown the dressing room, and met by a swarm of media looking for his thoughts on the day. Yeah, I woke up this morning and uh, I, we were driving down to the Toronto office, and the OHL office in Toronto, and I was listening to the draft on my phone, heard my name called, and it was just unbelievable. My mom was crying, and, and it was just, it was awesome. Connor takes in his impressive new home. It's a day that happens just once. As expected, his family is at his side. The emotions, they're raw and right on the surface. But there are lots of smiles as well and pride for the third overall pick as he gets set to embark on his Ontario Hockey League career. It was quite a build up. We were, um, you know, highs and lows. You just don't know what, you don't know what to expect because you've never been through this before. So when the actual day came, we were, we were pretty excited and uh, just to sit there and, and just, just to hear his name. And it was, it's been a long week. I've had a lot of thoughts go through my mind and yeah, it, was, it turned out great and I couldn't be happier. It's not done for the first round pick either. So he still needs to show off that black and gold sweater for a few photographers. 
In the war room, though, the next pick is up. But who will it be? That guy is the most right. skilled guy. That's that's my thing. Like those guys are tough to find, right? But I don't like that. I gotta open. Yeah, no, it's still there. Why is he still there? Yeah. Yeah. Still there? Gotta, uh, here's the thing. We, 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 we want to hold true to our values. Part, we don't want to be just a single dimension on this draft, too. Like we gotta, we gotta talk about adding some skill into this thing. One minute remaining, Hamilton. Uh, time out, please, Dave. Like that, if, we're, if we're talking about adding all elements to our draft here with this pick, with this pick, I'm this is what we're gonna, we need to cover off on. With the timeout, the group has a little more time to flush out the right player with the 45th overall selection. But what skill set do they go for? Time is up. The decision is made. With our third round selection, the Hamilton Bulldogs are proud to select from the Niagara North Stars defenseman Riley McCourt. Just like that, it's done. And now the call Riley has been waiting anxiously for. Hey Riley, it's Troy Smith from the Hamilton Bulldogs. How are you? Hey, how's it going? Ah, very good, very good. Congratulations! I'm sure you're following the draft. We're uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're extremely excited to have you. I think uh, yeah. we're, from everything we've heard, we're looking for players of your character, and and obviously your skill set is going to be a valued addition to our hockey club. So, welcome to the Bulldogs family. Thank you very much. I was uh, looking forward to this call for you know a long time, and you know. It's by you guys, close to me, and one of my best friends, you guys, like their third overall, Connor. He's a great kid, and I'm looking forward to your part of the organization, and you know, be your bulldog for sure. No, that's great. That's great. Well, we're, we're extremely excited to have you. Um, I just got to step back into the draft here. McCord is a smooth skating defenseman who scored nine goals and 11 assists for the Niagara North Stars the past season. For Riley, it's a quick drive down the QEW, too, from his home in St. Catharines, and he's at the first Ontario Centre. He admits the day was stressful as he sat and waited for the moment to come. You know, after the first two rounds, I was a little bit, you know, nervous, and I got more nervous as it went on, obviously, as, as most players do. And, and I went up to my room and just kind of watched it on my phone a little bit. and. And then it was funny how it works, but uh, uh, Connor Roberts, the, the third overall pick this year to Hamilton, he uh, he texted me and said uh, said congrats, dude. And I was like, I was I was kind of confused at the text. I was you know a little bit you know like, what's going on, curious. And and he said, and I said, well, like, I said, what do you mean? He said, give it two seconds. And surely enough, two seconds later, I was a Hamilton Bulldog, which was you know a great experience and something I'll remember forever, especially. Getting that text from one of my best friends and you know being here with, with a best friend is you know a really good experience and something on them for sure. With his sweater now on, what does the staff think of Riley? The court has the ability to read through uh, pressure and floor checks and be able to get, make that first pass out of the zone so we can start to continue the play on the offense. Real smart, uh, heady hockey player. Uh, moves the puck real well from the back end. Power play kind of guy. Guy who can run a power play and uh, you know sees the ice very well. Great hockey IQ. And, uh, you know, again, uh, a local, somewhat of a local guy from the Horseshoe. And, uh, you know, we're excited to have him. Court comes in for his draft day photo, meets up with his good friend Connor Roberts. The two are taken around the rink by Matt Strom, who a year after his draft is now a seasoned veteran when it comes to making his way around the facility. Smiles all around today, though, as the team welcomed 16 new Bulldogs. Well, it was a long day, but it was a real exciting day for the Bulldogs. Um, you know, I think we've uh, added to our already strong base of players that we have in our organization. And I think moving forward, uh, you know, we've we got a lot of really good days ahead of us. Uh, all shapes and sizes in this draft on forward and defense. So, um, you know, we have. Uh, we have some bigger players in the first two picks with uh, Connor Robertson, DJ King, and then Riley McCourt's a skillful defenseman, and you know, on and on down the list. We have a, a number of players that bring a lot of different attributes to our team. It took years for these newest Bulldogs to hone their skills in rinks across the province, and the scouting staff may have felt like they were hunting for a needle in a haystack, but the journey is just getting started. Two weeks have passed since the priority selection and it's now time for orientation camp. 
over one weekend, 39 players will show the Bulldog staff all they have in an attempt to get an invite to training camp this fall. It starts with a group checking into the Sheridan Hotel for the weekend and hearing what the organization is all about. First of all, um, welcome. Um, very proud to be able to have all you guys here in Hamilton take a look around and introduce myself, get to know the organization, and next of all is congratulations. And congratulations to the players because we've identified you as players that we feel are a possibility to play for us with the Hamilton Bulldogs. Uh, but to the parents, just to give you a quick understanding of how we've put in a philosophy or our draft philosophy as well. The one thing that we hold in highest regard is character. Our program will be based on, as, as you watch our Bulldogs kind of come to fruition here, it'll be based on development, development of the athletes, development of people. So that's, that's a little bit about us. They need to know what, who I am and, and what we're looking to build here and uh, what we hold in high regard and why they're, they're, their sons are a part of it for the parents and to the players the message is uh, there's a chance for you to become something special in this in this city I mean um, the bringing them in and letting them know that they're just not a hockey player they're part of this family part of this group and part of this organization and I think the welcome message is just to introduce the weekend tell them what we're gonna do and most importantly tell them what we're all about and, and what we're looking for in a Hamilton Bulldog the OHL's uh, got a lot of different facets to it you know namely you know who are the people that are, are behind the organization the opportunity for the players to meet Mike Landlauer Steve Stas and myself you know, I think is important not only to the players but their parents as well. With the groundwork laid, there's no time to waste for these young hopefuls. Matt Nickel and the Bulldogs sports science team are ready to test this group. Hey, we're just going to step up, load, jump as far as we can, land with two feet side by side. Okay, I want you to stick this landing, hold, okay, even if you fall back on your hands or fall forward, please try to keep your feet in the same spot. First thing you're going to do, you're going to come right here, I'm going to stand beside the step, okay. My left leg is going to be bent 90 degrees, hands on my hips, okay, nice and slow. I'm going to come down, I'm going to touch the pad and come back. A lot of these kids are 16, even 17, so for, for Matt Nickel, I think, and, and for the coaches as well, it's a benchmark of where they're at at 16, and it's really not about where they're at right now, it's about building for the future and finding out uh, where there's areas where they can improve, where they're strong, and, and building that development process off the ice. Up in Shadok, it's time to prepare for the first on-ice session of the weekend. It's a short amount of time, but they need to be ready. You know, we, we've been able to see them play many times from afar. Now they're part of our organization and our camp and more interaction, you know, more interaction with, uh, with them on and off the ice and get a better understanding of the person. Um, you know, for some of the prospects, it's, it's about us building a book on them as far as their strengths and weaknesses. It's up to us as an organization to develop these young players and uh, the more that we get to see them within our, uh, you know, within our facility on and off the ice in the weight room, we can start to develop specific plans for these players so we can maximize their potentials. It's, it's not a night where, you know, th there's obviously some people that are up top doing some evaluation, but that's just a chance for them to get used to the gear. We, we outfitted them all in Hamilton Bulldogs gear, so for them it's, it's new gloves, it's new pants, it's new helmets, and just get a feel for the environment, get, get settled in so that uh, when we do play the games on Saturday, they're ready to go. There are two squads for the weekend, Team Red and Team White. The two sides get comfortable before the scrimmages. I think that uh, the people that, that came to the camp realize the, the level of professionalism that, uh, that we demand from our organization, from our, our trainers doing a great job of, of tagging all of the equipment, taking it up and, and hanging it up at Shadok Arena to, to meeting the people behind the organization and, and understanding what we're all about. I thought it was a huge success. Day two of camp brings the players and family back to the rink as they get a guided tour of the facility and a better understanding of what life is like playing major junior hockey in Canada. 
But uh, we'll start in the dressing room, then we'll head out towards the uh, arena. We'll finish in the weight room. So when the players come in, they change on the right here. They have their lockers, put their valuables away, hang up their suits, whatever it may be. And they actually do hang up their suits, surprisingly enough. They just don't throw them in a ball. This is our, our video room. Uh, it's a very useful room. I actually call it our teaching theater, and the reason for that is because, unfortunately, the generation at the back doesn't do quite as well with the board. And this, we're very fortunate to have a room of this size. For me, I think it's perfect. I've been in rooms that are bigger than this, and it doesn't work. I've been in rooms that are smaller than this where you feel cramped. I find that this room's perfect. Again, I always think about the coaching side of things. With the wall being here, you basically have everybody on the front end. When Michael talks about best in class, and Steve talks about best in class, I've been in the league now for 10 years. Um, there's some things where we're still working on getting to that point. This area here, I can tell you right now, we are by far best in class. The game is played on the ice, but there's so much more off the ice from a development standpoint that, that's important to these players and, and how they're going to grow over the next three or four years with us from the weight room. And, and really, it's, it's the best in the league, without a doubt. It's, it's uh, in a class of its own. That combined with the fact that we have people like Matt Nickel and John Brown overseeing the players' progress, it's important for the parents and the players to hear that. And our dressing room facility, again, it, it's at a, an American Hockey League standard, which not every team can say. So we're, we're very proud of it. And uh, I think it was also important that was an opportunity for us to walk through what an average day would look like. Part of the process is also giving the kids a full rundown of what to expect when preparing to play in the Ontario Hockey League. The body, it needs to be taken care of and the staff are just chock full of pointers. Yeah, so what we're looking for, uh, you know, some of these kids are, are familiar faces and some of them are new to the program. We, had a, we started Friday with a few tests of just general athleticism, quickness, power, that sort of thing uh, that are specific to hockey and the things that we're looking for. So it was a good chance for the returning players uh, to make sure that they're on pace and, and, and they know uh, if they are uh, you know, on a trajectory to be where we want them at training camp. And for any of those new players, it kind of sets the tone in terms of what we're looking for and what's expected of them uh, as a Hamilton Bulldog. We're looking for competitive people that are, are tough to play against and, and that's uh, all encompassing with character as well. And you know, each player is going to be a little bit different so you can't really say that you're looking for just this or just that you know, beyond the competition, but we just really wanted to see uh, what these players were all about, what they do well, and, and what they can bring to make the Hamilton Bulldogs a championship team in the future. The competition over the weekend was strong, with all 39 players leaving it on the ice for three scrimmages. They are all aware of the reality, though. This is a first step. It just felt pretty good for me. It just allowed me to see what the older guys were like, their shots, the overall speed of the game just really opened my eyes to the next level of hockey. Uh, it, it's different for each player. Not every player is going to come back to our main camp and, and sometimes that's just about making sure that they put themselves in a position to where they can find a team to play on where they're going to continue to develop. So we, we would go over their fitness testing scores with them where they could use some improvement. Uh, from there we talked about their camp, what we thought they, uh, they could again use some improvement on and where we think that their strengths are and then it's about talking about the plan for September, you know, where they plan on being, whether they're coming here or, or going and finding a junior B job or a midget job someplace else, but just kind of setting that plan in place for their for their development. One player who is looking to make a leap is 2015 draft pick Fedor Gordiev. He spent last season playing junior B with the Bulldogs affiliate, the Ancaster Avalanche. I feel like what it felt like playing in the big leagues obviously and but just being down there helped me develop a lot for sure. Gordiev took last year in stride. He was drafted as a defenseman, but is looking to make the change to forward. At first, yes, I, I was kind of mad at myself, not going to lie. But then after the season, I kind of thought maybe this was for, for the better. And it helped me a lot more than maybe being with the club for the first year. So Fetter's a, a consummate team guy. You know, He's been a guy that's kind of been back and forth between defense and forward. And we asked him to play forward for this camp to see how he would do. And I thought he did a great job. The camp also gave the Bulldogs' latest first round draft pick a taste of what his future may be like. There's a good stepping stone here at the camp. See all the guys are at and see how I can do better and 
with the training there uh, on the Friday. It was good to kind of get a first stepping stone on what to expect. Connor Roberts comes in as the first pick. I think what uh, I hope that I dictated to everybody early enough is that uh, we don't, we're not going to put high expectations or pressures on this young man. I think as a first pick, he can, uh, we can get a little bit ahead of ourselves. I'm extremely excited about the prospect, there's no doubt. Um, it's hard not to start to expect great things from him when you see him on the ice and his commitment and his ability, but at the same time, he's a young man coming into our organization. We're going to make sure that uh, we protect him, we progress him in the right way. Some players progress in player development. I learned that you know, each, each player has a different path. I thought Connor got more comfortable as the weekend went on. He's obviously a, an extremely big body who skates well, but he, he's very raw at this point. There's, there's a lot of room for him to grow. I thought he grew over the weekend, and I think everybody's excited to work with him. A couple Bulldog regulars from last season were asked to use this camp as a chance to grow their game. Matt Stroman and Mackenzie Entwistle were leaned on heavily to show the recruits the ropes. It's a great experience learning all the uh, new guys and the new draft picks. And uh, I mean, uh, everyone it was it was everyone battled hard out there, and it was uh, it was it was really fun. It was good. I mean, uh, just it was good uh, learning leadership and and uh, communicating with my teammates and. Uh, and uh, everyone, everyone, like I said, competed really well out there and, and showed off their skills. So uh, all in all, it was a great weekend. It was important to have Matt and McKenzie here to kind of lead the way and, and show these players uh, what it means to be a Hamilton Bulldog, the level of play that you need to be at to play in the Ontario Hockey League. And, and for them personally, I think it's a great opportunity to, to grow on their leadership skills. They're both natural leaders that uh, players tend to, to want to follow and, and emulate. And, I think they did a great job this weekend of really setting the pace and, and making sure that uh, all the players played to the level that we expected. Defenseman Riley Webb is also looking to become a regular with the Bulldogs this season. His rookie campaign was marred by a couple of injuries that really limited his playing time. So Webby, yeah, he had a tough year with a lot of injuries where he had to overcome some adversity, but he's a, a very determined kid. As, as quiet as, as, as he is off the ice, he plays a, a loud, game, loud game at times where he's very physical and he's tough to play against. Uh, again, I think it, it goes back to us developing a, a system and a strategy where everybody pulls on the rope. And for, uh, for Matthew Strom, Mackenzie Antwistle being here for a year, um, I think it was important to put them in a leadership role in development camp. So now they have the responsibility of looking after younger players, making sure that everybody's prepared, they're on time, ready for, for their uh, pregame routines and stretches, um, being leaders on the ice, being leaders on the bench. Again, part of developing the overall athlete goes far beyond developing their skills on the ice. We need to develop good young men. Um, having Matt Strom down here, taking ownership and in in having him announce the first pick having these guys at camp, uh, at orientation camp, being able to pull these guys together, having a sense of responsibility that the team will perform as, as well as they perform, I think is a good thing at this stage. We also had Riley Webb, Fedor Gordeev, who were in, in our system this year, uh, playing Junior B for us. Want to develop that, that sense of team and moving up and responsibility to the organization. As camp wraps up, everyone goes their separate ways. The offseason is a personal test of how hard an individual can work to prepare for training camp and that challenging mission of making Hamilton Bulldogs. <laughs>